Hello, everyone. My name is Oksana. It's Road to Edwards, weekly Edwards Insider, the 11th. We deliver the news about the creation of our project, Edwards. And as usual, please, uh, Tokugawa-san. Yes, okay. Uh, thank you, Oksana. Yeah. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Hiro Tokugawa. Uh, now, this week, I would like to talk about uh, religion in Tokugawa, Japan. Uh, and any expert or uh, Buddhist monks in Japan today, uh, you would ask, what was religion like? What were people's beliefs in Tokugawa times? And uh, the uh, standard answer would be like a Shinbutsu Shugo, so a mixture of Buddhism and Shintoism. But uh, the reality of the uh, Tokugawa times was quite different. It was actually uh, Buddhism first. So uh, the, the Shogun uh, in 1615 uh, signed a contract with the uh, emperor of the time, well, the imperial regent. And so that I, I said already in the uh, Ediverse Insider, that was like a written constitution that was effective. Uh, and that's, that's probably the first of its kind. And then there's another set of contracts with all the major Buddhist sects. I think there are seven of them. And then all the Shinto shrines were put under the managerial control of the uh, Buddhist temples. So uh, Tokugawa Japan was in fact a Buddhist state, you see. And then here's another misunderstanding is that very often, uh, and even, even experts of Japanese history in Japan, uh, they would all explain that the uh, Tokugawa ideology was Confucianism. But this was not the case. Uh, Confucian texts uh, were read and studied, but that was because uh, communication with the Chinese was very, very important. So it was just to educate uh, the samurai who had a big war uh, with the Chinese uh, quite recently back then. So it, they, they were fighting until 1598. And then we knew, the Japanese samurai knew that uh, we were at par or better than the Japanese in military terms. So uh, in order to, to restore peace, uh, the Japanese ruling class had to be sinicized to a certain extent. So then that is why the uh, Tokugawa samurai all studied Confucianism and uh, Neo-Confucianism uh, developed in the Sun period. But uh, in terms of religion and values, it was a Buddhist society. Uh, and education for the commoners uh, was uh, done in Terakoya, uh, a small well, how, how should I, how would, you, would I call it in English, uh, what, a temple hut or temple cabin? So, uh, so and as a result, uh, the literacy rate in late Tokugawa times was like 40%, which is very high for the period. And, and why Buddhism is because, well, Tokugawa Ieyasu, the first shogun, was himself a, a quite devout uh, Buddhist. And then another is that to overcome the uh, values that had developed, the values and the mores that had developed during the uh, civil war period, the Sengoku Jidai, uh, Buddhism looked like the solution. Uh, actually, probably Christianity or Catholicism looked attractive too, but, uh, and the uh, samurai of the uh, civil war period, Sengoku Jidai, were mighty impressed by the Jesuits and the other a priest that arrived to Japan to proselytize, but the uh, and then you and then they would naturally ask the uh, Jesuits, uh, why are you so devoted to your beliefs? And then they would explain the uh, one thousand year history of the Catholic Church, and then there would be the witch hunt and then uh, hunting of heresy and so on. And it took a thousand years uh, to for the uh, Catholic faith to consolidate in Europe, and then it was disintegrated again. In, it's disintegrating again. So that was too troublesome. And then uh, we didn't want, uh, the Japanese, the Tokugawa didn't want a religious civil war on top of a secular civil war. So uh, they opted for Buddhism. And uh, so that was that. And uh, one, one, uh, one sign that uh, Tokugawa Japan was more Buddhist than a Confucianist is uh, this lack of aversion to uh, exposing the naked body. Okay, uh, public baths for commoners uh, was, uh, how would you call it, unisexual. Men and women would bathe together. Okay, start. Uh, and, then, uh, and then real Confucianist societies uh, like Japan, I don't know, I mean, China or Vietnam, they're very much averse to uh, exposing their bodies, even today. So that's that, okay? Uh, and that, I think, would be enough for today. And so thank you very much, Oksana.
Thank you very much, Takagawa san. And uh, next, please, uh, Mr. Gen, could you speak, uh, speak about the, uh, our updates, uh, successes as well, maybe? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Oksana. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's again. Today, I'd like to update some of our progress. So uh, first, we are about to disclose our white paper, our so-called white paper, which is like project paper describing the whole ecosystem, including tokenize mm -hmm. and gaming application within a, could be today or within a couple of days anyway. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we also try to uh, sell our first NFT, NFTs you know, token, uh, which covers certain lands. So like uh, Edo Castle is uh, owned by Mr. Tokugawa. Of course, and then around Edo Edo Castle, we divide uh, certain areas into 10k uh, divisions, and then all of them could be sold by some NFT token. So I think we can start this campaign around in uh, July, supposed to be maybe, and then many of the investors can have uh, an opportunity to participate in our campaign. Uh, this is one uh, good update. And then the other one is uh, we, tr we, we plan to issue two types of token. One is Edo Koban and the other one is Edo Zeni. And of course, Edo Koban is more valuable than Edo Zeni. So if let's say there's some investors who want to buy some lands in Edobus, they have to buy NFT, of course. But to get NFT, they have to exchange uh, their currency into Edo Zeni first so that this Edo, Edo Zeni's uh, demand is going to be expanding. And then if they need, you know, bought by some investors, these investors have the right to, uh, you know, participate in this NFT campaign. And then we'd like to put some kind of guideline or regulation, so-called maybe Bushido or something. Uh, we need to, you know, uh, be instructed by Mr. Tokugawa, but we uh, let some, uh, we let people uh, behave in certain manner so that they are entitled to get uh, Edo Koban. But these people is limited to those who has already Edo Zeni. So which means uh, Edo Zeni plus uh, some certain good, uh, good behavior in Edo, Edo Bus are entitled to, you know, get Edo Koban, something like that. We, we still, you know, keep considering what types of ecosystem is going to be better and best for all of the, you know, players related with Edo Bus. But I think um, with our team, with our uh, partner, maybe we can we can be super close to conclude conclusion, which is super powerful and attractive uh, metaverse space. And uh, this is the advice. I, I think um, I'm through to announce this, you know, whole ecosystem in detail within a couple of couple of days. Hopefully today. Anyway, Tia uh, Chen, thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Ken. It's uh, very exciting to know all the details. And uh, uh, the next, uh, Mitsushi, could you please uh, talk? For Hello. Us? Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Mitsushi. So since last time I'm joining this a Weekly Insider, because my colleague Taisi, I assume that he prefers writing to speaking, but I prefer speaking to writing. So we sometimes divide and share roles and responsibilities since 2019. Uh, so I think uh, currently I'm taking over his role. But today I would like to talk about two issues, two things. First of all, production of logo. Secondly, community building. First of all, production of logo. Uh, we had uh, several meetings about logo with the designer, chief designer, Fukuda Sensei, and we got several feedback about it. It's, first of all, it's very important to include the elements of tradition of our uh, Edo and uh, Tokugawa family. And moreover, secondly, revolution and entertainment. That's uh, his feedback. So I think it's better to include that idea into local production process. Moreover, as I read the uh, prospectus, the project white paper, we call it sepia paper because the color of paper is sepia instead of white. I think all the discipline or elements inside that white paper should also be represented in the logo. For example, the relation or causal link between Edo Zeni and uh, Edo Koban. Uh, you know, Edo Zeni. So that at the point at which people looked at the logo, people should realize that Edo Koban is more precious 
than Edo Zeni because that's how the system, ecosystem works inside Edo, uh, Edoverse. That sort of discipline should also be represented in a logo because that's the role of symbol. We need to symbolize those uh, nature and function. Uh, yeah, that's the most difficult part. And today, uh, after this weekly insider, we also have a meeting to brush up the idea even further uh, by having a hearing from uh, Tokugawa-san as well. That's the first agenda that I, would, I wanted to talk about today. Secondly, uh, community building. At the point at which the date of launch or date of sales is determined, I think my suggestion is to create community, maybe in Discord, maybe in Telegram. So I'm happy to uh, you know, uh, organize Discord channel for uh, you know, living up the projects. It's better to uh, raise awareness of consumers of people beforehand. I think a uh, little time is at least like one month prior to the uh, launch date. So when we, if we like launch our token the summer, maybe it's better to start a building community uh, one month ago or uh, at least two weeks ago. I think uh, I would like to talk about that details with our project members later at some point. Uh, and then finally, uh, if we create logos and promotional materials, uh, it's better to spread out to, uh, to a wide range of people through our uh, SNS channel and also this kind of weekly insider mm -hmm. as well. That's all from me. But I was uh, very impressed with the uh, fact that the team uh, uh, mm -hmm. was like uh, Buddhist first and Shinto was a secondary due to structural reasons because the management was under the discretion of a temple's uh, institution and organization. I didn't know that, so I was very impressed with that uh, fact. Uh, yeah, I'm learning new things every week. This is, by the way, I, this is my most sort of uh, enjoyable time in a week. <laughs> so I'm always looking forward to, you know, join this weekly insider and, you know, uh, learn something new about uh, Edo world. Um, I personally want to, you know, uh, suggest that Everyone who joins Edoverse eventually will have this kind of session process to learn authentic depiction and reality of Edo world. I think maybe uh, we can have that sort of uh, periodical session inside Discord channel as well, because we are able to have this kind of live session inside Discord as well. Uh, you know, if you know, uh, a lot of people, even outside Japan, will become the master of the world. That's going to be a wonderful world. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's all from me today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mitsushi. And who knows, maybe we can have some conference later or, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, some uh, lecture about from Tokugawa-san, uh, like for VIPs of, of the Edowars, I don't know, maybe. But uh, yes, it's, it's very exciting. I also like this uh, uh, time of, of the week to learn a lot of new things. And uh, also the next, uh, Dominique, could you please speak overall about our project? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Oksana, for that. And now, uh, with Shi's ideas, uh, putting Nato's ideas on all the, all the knowledge and uh, every story, just quit putting in the Discord is really good ideas. I think um, we're going to just start those uh, uh, SNS um, and Discord and Telegrams. So they're building up communities, I think, as soon as possible. That means um, we originally idea was that a uh, 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 token issue would be July, but we fixed the date actually, the 7th of July at the 7 a.m. at the 7 seconds. Uh, this, we're going to just uh, target just to launch the, launch the uh, token Edozenis and also uh, NFTs as well, the land NFTs at the same time for sale. Um, we we are not targeting for July means that you know, we had to rush to launch uh, those uh, to building up communities just through the Telegram and the Discord. But Discord might be very very useful uh, vehicle because of the, so our, our 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 ecosystem is basically uh, on the basis of a gamefi, so people can just enjoy their uh, play to earn. So uh, we we're really uh, looking forward just to building up. I think uh, in May. I think we want to just start those that to, to for just uh, Discord and Telegram, and then uh, last week uh, what we did is actually uh, officially our business 
uh, started uh, because uh, uh, the board meeting with the Shingo Vice Holdings, which is a parent company with the Edo Basco Limited, uh, uh, officially decided and approved a whole project. And then we made a whole business plans just over the, over the two, two to three years. And then uh, uh, we're going to just issue the, uh, issue the round NFTs, art NFT, NFT art, and also uh, avatar NFTs. And the many things that, that we just uh, building up a plans. And then uh, uh, today, or as um, Gen mentioned, that um, today, or maybe I think within a couple of days, and we're going to uh, uh, issue a white paper, uh, which called a uh, sepia paper. Just, you know, we very sort of, um, we are kind of sort of old um, uh, uh, period of uh, Edo's uh, uh, image of uh, carrots. And then uh, that uh, sepia paper that, that we, we're just writing up everything just for the, all the concepts and also all the plans and the roadmaps, everything. So, uh, uh, we are now uh, speeding up. Um, just now, our whole team just in the heading heading to the moon actually uh, to uh, to start up um, everything now. Um, so um, I uh, 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 I'm really happy that um, uh, we, we can just tell tell to everyone that that we just officially just started this business, and then we're going to just uh, uh, we're going to just make it the one by one, and then uh, probably I think very soon that we're going to contract with a developer just for the talk tokenomics everything, uh, and and then. Um, please just wait for the wait for the Discord launch and also the Telegram uh, start. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great achievements. Congratulations! Like yes, everything is started. The travel to the moon, right? <laughs> so thank you very much, everyone. As uh, I, I cannot wait to the next week to hear the updates, and have a nice golden week here in Japan.